Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. So in this video, I will discuss all the programming assignment of week 7 of the course Programming in Java. So starting with the programming assignment 1. So please subscribe my channel if you get some help after watching the video because I upload all the assignment answers along with the programming assignment of this course. Now in this assignment, we have to write a Java program to find the longest word in a given input. So you can see the sample test case that believe in yourself is the input and the output will be yourself. So it is the longest word. Okay. Now first of all, I have to click Java. Now here you will find that public static void main that means main method is given. Now string text is equal to scanner dot next line. So the input will be taken by this string that is text. Now string longest word that means uh, this is the variable which will uh, get the longest word from the string. And uh, this is the method which we have to write. So we have to write this uh, method that is public static string find longest word and which will take string text. Uh, so what is text? It will be taken from the user. Then we define string longest word. Uh, now, uh, what is this string text? This is the uh, string which is taken from the user. Now, we have to split the text. That means, uh, if the string is uh, believe in yourself, then uh, we have to get believe, then in, then yourself. Okay, as a different string. So, that's why we introduce a string array, words, which will take text dot split. That means, it will divide like believe, it is uh, one string and then it is the second string. That means, string 0 is believe, string 1 is in and string uh, 2 is yourself. Now we have to write a for loop string word then words that means from the words it will take each word then word dot length that means we have to count the number of uh, letter in it okay uh, then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so 7 is the uh, let, uh, length of this first word then which is greater than uh, the longest word dot length that means uh, the length of the, the longest word is now 0 so 7 greater than 0 so the longest word will be now believe okay so in this way this for loop will run and at last it will uh, the longest word value will be uh, yourself okay so it will return yourself and it will print okay so then we have to click save as draft then we have to click compile and run then here you can see that compilation is passed public test cases one by one passed okay then we have to click submit then here you will see that the private test cases used for evaluation status is passed coming to programming assignment 2 of week 7 now here the question is written wrong okay because if you see the sample test case then here the input is 5 uh, array is given where there is 5 element in the array 12 23 34 uh, 23 and 45 now 23 is written means uh, we have to remove 23 from the array then we have to again print this array okay that means uh, 12 34 and 45 will remain in the array and all the occurrences of 23 will be removed so this is the program so we have to write this program now we have to click java now here you will see the main function is written here okay now this is the original array is uh, uh, printed here that is original array now array equal to remove all so this is the uh, function or method we have to write this method here then we will return another array after removing all the occurrences of the specified number now it will print that array so we have to first remove this now after removing all the comments here the function is this this function will take the array and the element to remove now int result equal to new int array dot length so we created another new array now int index is equal to 0 now int value from array that means we will iterate through the array then copy only if the current element is not equal to the element to be removed okay okay that means if value not equals to elements to be removed element to remove then we have to write result then index plus plus that means it will first store uh, the value in the index then it will increase the index value okay then we have to click save as draft and then we have to click compile and run now here you will see that compilation is passed one by one is passed okay then we have to click submit so now here you can see that the private test cases used for evaluation is passed now in this programming assignment 3 we have to write a program to compute the sum of all the prime numbers in a given range and the range value will be positive okay so if you see the sample test case the lower limit is 4 and the upper limit is 13 
and the prime numbers between 4 and 13 are 5, 7, 11 and 13 and if we sum these 4 numbers then we will get 36 ok. So we have to write this code. Now first click Java then here you will see that public static void main that means main function is given and the uh, function or method is prime sum ok uh, and xy means here 4 and 13. So we have to write this method. Now we have to write the function that is public static int then prime sum is the name of the method and it will take int x comma int y then we have to write the logic now this is the method we have to write and i take the parameters int x and int y that means 4 and 13 for the sample test case now int sum is equal to 0 so we have to return the sum which is the sum of all the prime numbers between this, this range that is x and y. Now I uh, take another variable that is int flag is equal to 0. Then write one uh, outer for loop that is int i is equal to x that means from 4 to 13 it will run and then flag is equal to 0. And for int j is equal to 2 to j less than is equal to i by 2 that means it will go from 2 to uh, i by 2. Uh, what will be the i value? It will go uh, till i by 2 then i uh, modulus j is equal to is equal to 0 if uh, it is true then flag plus plus so that means flag value will increase and after uh, from coming out from this loop if the flag value is still 0 then sum plus is equal to i that means uh, this prime number will be added to the sum now at last we have to return the sum then i have to click save as draft then i have to click compile and run now here you will see that the compilation is passed public test cases one by one passed so then i have to click submit now here you will see that the private test cases used for evaluation status is passed. Now coming to the fourth assignment. Now this is programming assignment 4 of week 7. Now in this uh, programming assignment we have to write a code to create two threads. One printing the event numbers that is event number thread and the other is printing the odd numbers that is odd number thread. Now the print numbers class is declared which will implement the runnable interface. Now if you see that if you click here Java then here you can see that the class print numbers implements runnable okay as mentioned in the first line now create a constructor of this class that takes two private instance variables start and end to represent the range of numbers that will be printed by the thread and create a run method that is required by the runnable interface that contains the code that will be executed when the thread is started in the case it should print odd number within the specified range using a for loop okay now here if you see it is the sample test case uh, the input is 2 to 10 that means the event number thread will start from 2 to 10 that means it will print 2 4 6 8 and 10 and the odd number threads will run from 3 to 7 that means 3 5 7 now first come back to the code now here you have to remove the comment line okay so remove those comment line now after that here you can find that private int start is one variable and private int end is another variable okay and here is a constructor that is public print numbers and if you see the main method then here you will find that new print numbers event start event end so event start and event end are two integers variable okay so in the constructor you have to write int start and int end okay int start and here you have to write int end now this dot start equal to start and this dot end equal to end then here in the public void run method here you have to write the i will start from start and it will go till end okay that means from the starting value it will go till the end value and it will increment by 2 because event number like 2 then 4 then 6 okay. next system dot out dot print a length thread dot current thread dot get name it will call the thread name here you can see that thread dot current thread dot get name returns the name of the currently executing thread okay so that means if the event thread is executing then the, it will print that event thread okay then the number okay plus i so here uh, i have written the code now you have to click save as draft then you have to click compile and run now here you can see that compilation is passed one by one passed okay? now then you have to click submit now here you will see that the private test case used for evaluation status is passed now coming to the last assignment that is assignment number 5. Now this is programming assignment 5. Then in this assignment you need to implement a password validation system using Java. Now the goal is to check if the password meets the following conditions. So three conditions are given. The first condition is the password must be at least 8 characters long. 
the second condition is the password must contain at least one uppercase letter like from uh, capital a to capital z and the password must contain at least one numeric digit from 0 to 9 now if the password meets all three conditions then print valid password otherwise print invalid password okay that's our task now here you can see that public class w7 uh, p5 is taken now private string password and uh, a constructor is also there now here in the main method you can see that uh, string input password is equal to scanner dot next line so input is taken from the user next uh, this is the constructor okay now check password validity and print result now this is the uh, method that is is valid password okay uh, so it is a boolean uh, method and uh, if it is true then system dot out dot print valid password and else uh, invalid password now i write public boolean is valid password so this is the method which is called from the main method okay is valid password and which will take input password that means we have to define the parameters here that is string password so now password is here now if the password dot length less than 8 that means uh, it will return false okay and else it will go further now i have taken two variable that is has uppercase and has digit so uh, it is taken uh, to know that is any uppercase is present in the password or not and same uh, for the digit that any digit is present in the password or not so i had taken one for loop uh, character ch colon password dot two cat array that means i converted the password string to the character array and if any particular character is uppercase then this has uppercase variable will turn true okay and if any character is uh, digit then has digit variable will become true and if both are true then it will return true and else false so that is my method now i have to click save as draft then i have to click compile and run now here you can see that uh, public test cases one by one passed and uh, the expected output is same as the actual output and the status is passed then i have to click submit then here you can find that the private test cases used for evaluation status is passed so please subscribe my channel if you get some help from this video. I will give the drive link of this uh, programming in my uh, description and in the pinned comment. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. We will see you in the next video.